and welcome back everyone and I am excited because the challenge USA season 2 cast has been announced and revealed and I have to say that this is quite an interesting cast. Now before we can get to the cast let's go through some background information of this season. First of all the host is TJ. Of course, this is going to take place in Croatia. The prize money is 500k, just like the first season. And the cast is made up of 24 total competitors from Big Brother, Survivor, and Amazing Race, just like season one. However, something that is different from season one is that there's actually MTV challengers that are also going to be playing on this season that are also getting the moniker of legends just like we saw in the world championship now let's further break down this cast there are a total of 10 complete rookies and what i mean by that is that these players have not been on a previous season of the challenge whether it be from mtv or from the challenge usa season one now those 10 competitors are made up of four big brother players four survivor players and two amazing race players there are three returning competitors from the challenge usa season one that's a total of 13 cbs only competitors and then the rest of the 11 are mtv players now granted five of those players originated from a cbs original show like Big Brother or Survivor. So breaking that down even further, there are only six players that originate from MTV properties like The Real World and Are You The One. I think the format of this cast is quite interesting. I sort of like the idea that players that have been featured on MTV but originated from a CBS show are being added to the challenge USA for the second season. I'm still pretty skeptical on why we need just MTV players from like Are You The One and MTV Properties to be on this season. I don't understand it. I like that season one was just CBS players and it was kind of like a proving ground, but I guess I see it from a business standpoint, but from an audience standpoint, I kind of wish it was just CBS players by themselves. And then maybe they could use this as a leaping off point to get to the flagship show, but that's just my opinion. Now let's jump into the cast and who is on this cast, starting with the non-MTV players in alphabetical order. We're going to start off with Alyssa L, who was on Big Brother 23 originally, getting 7th place. She was able to win 2 vetoes on her Big Brother season, then she made her way onto the Challenge USA Season 1, winning 1 daily, going 1 for 1 in eliminations, where she lost to Angela right before the finals. Next up, we have another Alyssa, this time Alyssa S from Big Brother 24, where she placed fifth place on that season, but she did not win much of any competitions except for $5,000 on that season, but she did not win any vetoes or HOH competitions. Another player from Big Brother 24 is Amira, who got 14th place on Big Brother 24. She was the third person out of the game. Needless to say, she did not win a single competition. I think she's just hoping to make it further than one week, like she did in the Big Brother house. Now let's get into some Survivor players. We have Cassidy Clark from Survivor 43, where she got second place behind Gabler. She won three individual immunity awards that season on her way to a second place finish. And I really like Cassie. I liked her on her season 43. I actually think she should have won it, but that's neither here nor there, or just, that's just my opinion. That doesn't really matter. I like Cassidy. I'm excited for her to be on this second season of the challenge, as well as Chanel from Survivor 42, where she got 11th place. She wasn't able to win any individual immunity awards as she was voted out pretty early after the merge, but I'm excited to see what she can do on this season, as well as Chris from Survivor 38, where he won Edge of Extinction. He actually spent so many days, 26 full days on Edge of Extinction, won himself back in the game very late, won the final immunity, and then was able to win over the jury by giving up his final immunity and building fire and winning. It's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen. Another person that I am so excited to see, and this is a returning player from the Challenge USA Season 1, and that is Desi, who was originally on Survivor 35, where she got 11th place after winning one individual immunity. She was on the Challenge USA Season 1, where she won two daily challenges, and she got 5th place. She made it into the finals and got DQ'd because she was partnered up with Enzo in the initial swim, and 10 seconds into that initial swim, he decided to cut 
out of the finals. And because he was tethered to Desi at that point and partnered up with Desi, she also had to get the boot out of the game. And I am so excited because she was robbed in the Challenge USA Season 1. And now she gets some redemption coming back into the game. I really like Desi's opportunity to go far into this game, even though she's not playing with really any of the survivor players that she played with in season one but i just think that she has a really good shot to go very far into the season next up we have a pair of amazing race players first of all we have dusty from the amazing race season 33 he got third place on that season he's a podcast host a bnb owner and coordinator he won three legs on that season with his partner and dusty is in some really good shape and i think he's going to come in with a strong level of competitiveness and it's going to be interesting to see how far these amazing race players can go because there's only two of them on the whole cast and so they're at a severe numbers disadvantage they will need something in their back pocket or a really good social game or to win some early competitions to keep the heat off of them. Speaking of heat, let's go to Team Miami or one half of Team Miami, Lewis from The Amazing Race Season 34. He also got third place on his Amazing Race season. He is a firefighter and he also won three legs. I love Lewis. I loved him on his Amazing Race season. I'm always going to root for Team Miami here, so I'm very excited. Also coming in as a firefighter, he's in incredible shape, and I want to see Lewis go very far on this season. Now, jumping back to Big Brother, we have Monty from Big Brother 24. He got second place on his Big Brother season. He won three HOH competitions and two veto wins on his way to that second place finish. Next up, we have Sebastian from Survivor 36, where he got sixth place. No real individual immunity awards, but sixth place is nothing to scoff at. So we'll have to see what Sebastian is going to do. He is also from Florida. I think I read on his Survivor wiki page, so... That's pretty neat. The third USA Season 1 contestant returning to the Challenge USA is Tiffany from Big Brother 23, where she won two HOH wins on her sixth place finish on that season. And then it was a massive disappointment, I would say, for Tiffany on the Challenge USA Season 1, where she went 0 for 1 in eliminations, getting eliminated in Episode 2. I was pretty shocked by that. So we'll see how her strategy and her social game will benefit after one season underneath her belt. And the final non-MTV competitor is Tyler from Big Brother 20, where he got second place to Casey, a challenge champ, where he won three HOH wins, three veto wins. Then he came back for Big Brother 22, where he got sixth place, adding two HOH wins and two veto wins to his Big Brother resume overall. It didn't seem like his heart was in it because he was away from Angela and he it didn't seem like he was very thrilled to be back in a reality type setting, a reality TV type setting. But here he is for the Challenge USA season two. And I think it's going to be a little bit better because he's not coming in as a couple with Angela. They have since broken up after the Challenge USA season one has wrapped up. He is coming in single and ready to mingle. We'll have to see what's gonna happen with Tyler. But now, let's go to the MTV players. And what I mean by that are the players that appeared on the main flagship show on MTV. We're gonna start off in alphabetical order with Amanda from Are You The One Season 3. She has done six seasons, and the last time we saw her was The Challenge 37 in episode 18, where she lost to Tori in the drone drop elimination right before the finals there was a double elimination and amanda is back i'm very excited to see amanda on this season i thought she was a breath of fresh air on the challenge 37 and i think now that she's had a full season off and we haven't seen her around i think that she's going to add another breath of fresh air on this season next up we have bananas from the real world key west he has done 21 total seasons he's been to 10 finals has seven wins, the most wins of any challenge competitor, and the last time we saw him was on the World Championship where he lost to Jordan and Kaz in Episode 7. Him and Justine lost to Jordan and Kaz in Episode 7, so I'm sure he's 
wanting to come back and get way further and do way better than he did on the world championship. Corey Wharton returning, that's right, from the real world explosion. He has done nine seasons. He's a four-time finalist. The last time we saw him was the Challenge 37, where in episode 13, he lost to Logan in the rope burn elimination. I'm actually very excited to see Corey back. He has taken quite a bit of time off. He's been training. He's been hanging out with family. He's been doing his own thing, filming for Teen Mom, and now he's gonna come back. I'm hoping Corey does really well this season. I am rooting for Corey. And now we're gonna switch over to talking about Fessel, whose original show was the Big Brother 20. He has done four seasons. He's a two-time finalist, and the last time we saw Fessel was in season 38, episode 16, where he lost to Bananas and Nani in the Bridget elimination. I'm sure he's thinking he has this already in the bag. I don't know. But next up we have John A from the Real World Cancun who have done five main MTV challenge shows. She is a three-time finalist and two-time champ via All-Stars, and the last time we saw her was being DQ'd in the World Championship because of her partner landing weird in a daily challenge, and so her and Grant had to be DQ'd early on in that season. John A. has not lost an elimination since returning to the challenge in All-Stars 1. Can she keep up that streak and make it to yet another finals? We'll have to wait and see. Next up, we have another returning player that we haven't seen in quite a while, and that is Josh, whose original show was Big Brother 19, a season that he won, mind you. He has done five MTV Challenge seasons, and the last time we saw him was in season 37, episode 15, where he too lost a bridge-type elimination. This one was called Burning Bridges, where he lost to Kyle. How much has he worked on himself and his game? Can he go further on in this season? He has some players that he has played with in the past. I'm sure he's coming in with quite a few friends. We'll have to see what's going to happen. Can he win an elimination? Will he be thrown into elimination? We're going to have to wait and see. Michaela Bradshaw, whose original show was Survivor Season 33, and she also did Survivor Season 34. She has done one season of the challenge, and that was the last time we saw her on the challenge, which was Season 37, Episode 1, where she got outed for making a list, having a list, and then that was where all the vets decided to target her and Renan and throw her into the first elimination where she had to face off against her friend Michelle, who we're going to be talking about next, and Michaela was eliminated. Now, there was some talks that she was supposed to be on the Challenge 38, but because of her new job and everything surrounding that, she decided to reject coming on to the Challenge 38, and now we're getting her on the Challenge USA Season 2, which I think is a better fit for her on her second season. So I'm very excited to see Michaela back, as well as Michelle, whose original show was Survivor 32, where she won. She also came back for Survivor 40 and was a second runner-up. She has done two seasons of The Challenge, and the last time we saw her was in Episode 8 of Season 38, losing with her partner Jay in the spun-out elimination against the rookie sensations of that season of Horacio and Olivia. I love Michelle coming onto The Challenge USA. I feel like she has a better footing for this season, and I'm always going to be rooting for Michelle to go very far on a challenge, and I'm very excited to see her on the show. Somebody, I think, shocked a lot of people seeing on this cast list, and that is Pauly Calafiori, whose original show was Big Brother 18. He has done three seasons of the challenge. He's a two-time finalist. Last time we saw him was all the way back in season 34, War of the Worlds 2. He was in the finals, he made it to the second day, and his USA team lost the finals to Team UK who were a very stacked team. Paulie's coming back after quite a bit of a hiatus, and I think he's going to come back looking for that win and looking for some vengeance here, which I think is quite interesting. I'm not the biggest Paulie fan, but it's actually quite interesting to see him on this cast and how he will integrate into the game with the CBS players as well as all the challenge vets and see where his game takes in this season. Next up, we have Tori from Are You The One Season 4. She's done seven main seasons of the challenge. She's a four-time finalist, one-time challenge champ, winning season 38. But the last time we saw her was getting second place alongside her survivor partner, Danny, in the world championship. Can Tori make it far into the season and make yet another finals? Has she worked on her biking skills? 
We'll have to wait and see. And last but not least is Wes from Real World Austin. He has done 14 main seasons of the challenge. He's a five-time finalist, two-time challenge champ, also won All-Star Season 3. And the last time we saw him was being eliminated in the World Championships in Episode 6 alongside his partner Zara. They were facing off against Ben and Casey in the Herculean Strength. Wes on that season made a risky and fatal mistake of not drinking a smoothie, going down in points, sending him directly into the elimination that episode, which ultimately led to them being eliminated from the season. Has he learned from that mistake? Can he bounce back in a big way? We're going to have to wait and see, but that is all 24 players and some of the background information for the Challenge USA Season 2. Now, I do want to mention one more interesting fact about this season before it premieres. It's premiering on August 10th, which is a Thursday night, not a Wednesday night. Now, I do have to mention that in the first three weeks, it's going to be on twice a week. It's going to be on Thursday nights and Sunday nights for an hour and a half each. I wanted to mention that because I think it's very important to keep that in mind as the season is getting ready to start and premiere. And it's a little bit different than how things normally run, but I just wanted to mention that. But that is it for this video. What do you think about this cast? Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think about the rookies? What do you think about the three returning players? And what do you think about MTV players infiltrating the challenge USA? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know down in the comment section below. Who are you rooting for? Who are you rooting against? Let me know that as well down in the comment section below. I want to give a special shout out. Thank you to everyone who supports me over at patreon.com slash angelcakevids. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone who is watching this video up to this point. I'll be back really, really soon with more challenge content, more content in general. But until then, peace.